And looking at that forecast from ABC 17 Storm Track forecaster Sawyer Jackson, it looks like today's cold weather isn't isn't going anywhere, and that cold could cause a few problems for your car. Our ABC 17's Nia Hinson joins us live in Columbia tonight with some information you'll want to keep in mind this cool season. Nia. Yeah, Megan, this is one of the busiest times of the year for travel. Maybe you're coming back from visiting your family for Thanksgiving or you just want to get a head start on your Christmas travel plans. But either way, there are a few things you're going to want to double check before you hit the road. Tires. Most people probably think of accidentally popping one or the air leaking out. But as it gets colder, the biggest thing you should be worried about when it comes to your tires is the cold. Though we can't control the cold, what you do have control over is how you prepare for it. According to Tirecraft, for every 10 degrees the temperature drops, your tire pressure can decrease by about one pound per square inch. Now the good news is this light will come on to show you when it's time to put air into your tires, but it'll only come on when your tires are at least 25% below the right amount of pressure. You should instead check your tire pressure once a month and top them off when needed. Now to check your tire pressure, you're going to start by unscrewing the tire cap and then taking a tire pressure valve, pushing it all the way in. And this end of the white part is going to stick out to let you know what it's at. And you're going to want this to be at about 30 to 35 PSI. Not having enough air in your tires is the leading cause of tire failure, according to Tirecraft, and can lead to too much rubber from your tires on the road, which can cause overheating, blowouts, and even problems with steering and braking. Not having enough air in the tires can also cost you money as they can lead to poor gas mileage and in turn cost you more at the pump, which is why heading to your nearest gas station to fill them up with air will be the best thing you can do this season. The most local gas stations are going to have something that looks similar to this. You're going to start by simply scanning your card, grabbing the nozzle, heading over to your car and again unscrewing your tire cap. And then you're going to simply insert the nozzle all the way in and fill it to the correct amount of air that your tire needs. And if you want to be extra prepared, you can even buy your own personal air compressor that you can store in your car. Now, AAA also recommends that you check your headlights and replace any blown out bulbs. You're also going to want to double check your windshield wipers and fill those up with winter solvent. Reporting live in Columbia, Nia Henson, ABC 17 News. Nia, thank you for that information tonight. According to the Highway Patrol, since Wednesday at 6 p.m., there have been 30 crashes with injuries across the state. And four of those crashes, at least one person was seriously hurt. Two people have died and 36 people have been arrested on suspicion of drunk driving.